Hey guys, Mark Flockhart. In today's video, we're gonna go over mold and whether your home insurance policy will cover it. Most of the time, when you are looking to file a claim and you're wondering if it's covered, it's either A, there's water in the basement, so a pipe burst or something, and you went away for vacation, or two weeks go by, and now there's mold that's starting to form. Or B, there was a slow leak in the roof, and now you're noticing that certain parts of your house you're starting to get sick or you're starting to see some mold show up or something's just not right. You're smelling a little bit musty when you're in a certain room. And the third one is typically when a pipe bursts in the wall. So something like that, if you don't catch it right away and a week or two goes by, if there's moisture, that's where the mold comes from. It just attaches. If you scrub it, it spreads. It's a whole nightmare. So you've noticed mold. Let's just say it's in the basement in this case, uh, a pipe burst and you haven't been in the basement for two weeks. It's starting to grow mold. You notice there's an inch of water, half inch of water, whatever the case is. In most incidences, that's not gonna be covered. They usually exclude that mold portion because the mold shows that it grew because it takes time for mold to grow. It just doesn't come tomorrow or next week. Same thing with the roof. If there was a leak in the roof, more often than not, what that is is the roof had had a leak and they usually don't just leak so it usually means that the roof is older so it's 15 years 20 years old roof and it's starting to leak some of the shingles blew off or something like that so in those situations they're not usually going to cover that now keep in mind let's say going back to that water claim let's just say there was a lot of damage now the water might be covered because you usually have water backup in your policy that would typically cover replacing the carpet replacing the walls, things like that. But there's gonna be a little extra cost out of pocket because you have to pay for that mold remediation. So here's something that's new to insurance is they did start offering an endorsement that's like an add-on to your home policy. So you have your house, all of your coverages, and then you typically add water damage, water backup. And now they're offering some companies, they're starting to offer mold addition. So now if you do have a pipe burst and you don't notice it right away, they are gonna cover certain situations of that. What are steps you should take? The first thing you should definitely do right away is call a remediation company. Get somebody out there, get a wet vac, do something, get any water that you have out of there. Uh, try to clean it up, don't scrub any of the mold. So if you see it, don't touch it. Just get the water out. Maybe call a remediation company, tell them there's mold so that they can get the right guys out there. Uh, that way they can start working on the house. Either way you have to fix it, right? So I would start that process. In the meantime, that's gonna show the insurance company that you're actively trying to fix this issue. It's not something you're like, oh, oh yeah, there's mold in my basement, here, fix it. Because they want to, you wanna show that pride of ownership. Also, you want to call your insurance company, find out a couple things. What is your deductible? Some people have a three, five, ten thousand dollars deductible. So at the end of the day, it might not be worth it to even file a claim. If you're calling an insurance agent, just explain it to them. They usually don't have to file the claim unless you ask them to. And then if you're calling directly to a company, I, I don't want to say dodge them, but to be honest with you, sometimes some companies, when you tell them that something happened, they instantly file a claim, zero dollars. And if they never fix it or never paid out and you decide not to claim it, they still count it and then your price goes up the following year. What's my deductible? Does it cover mold? Does it cover water backup? Things like that. And then make sure that you get it fixed because if you don't get that issue fixed, it's just going to come back. Make sure the company that you're working with has good reviews. So don't just hire anybody to do it. I recommend just popping up Google, just type in remediation companies around me or remediation companies in whatever city and state that you're in and then just go based off of the reviews. If it's worth it, file the claim, put it through, they're gonna have the guy start on the work. What's covered is covered, what's not is not. At the end of the day, you need to have it fixed either way. So definitely get that taken care of, get it out and cleaned. One thing I wouldn't recommend is doing it yourself because if you scrub mold or do the bleach method or the borax method that they call it, it can spread. So if you're not doing it correctly, it can cause a larger issue. And if you're not covered now, you're not gonna be covered later when it spreads and you didn't know that when you get sick when the other parts of your house have mold and it grows, it's going to be a bigger issue. Anyways, guys, I hope this helps. If you got good information out of it, smash the thumbs up. If you're interested in more insurance tips, it might be a good idea to subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.